I just thought about, you mentioned before that when you started out you didn't know whether you wanted to be a bass player or a guitar player or a drummer. So how did you decide on... Um, well, I, I was sort of like, um, I played drums in a yeah. few bands and uh, played guitar in a few bands, played bass in a couple bands, and when I moved to LA, my drum kit in Seattle, I moved from Seattle, yeah. was a piece of shit. <laughs> so, I, I, so I came down here with a guitar, mm -hmm. a little guitar amp. Yeah. Um, but the rent on the place and the, like my paycheck from the job yeah. were staggered. So there's a few times I had to pawn this guitar I had. Oh, yeah. It was a cool guitar. Yeah. And I traded it for a Hamer uh, like Double Cutaway Junior. Yeah. You know, or yeah, Special yeah. or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, anyhow, long story short, I pawned this thing. The last time I had pawned it, you put your, your driver's license down. And, yeah. and um, I got a knock on my apartment door. I was home, and there's a knock on my apartment door. And it was two cops. And they said, do you own this guitar? I got it out of Hawk. It was in my apartment. Yeah. I said, yeah, I own this guitar. And they said, well, um, we're here to take it. It was, it was stolen from L.A. Like five or seven years prior. Yeah. So um, there I was. I had a bass. And um, um, right about the same time, Izzy had moved across the street. Yeah. I'd been playing with, uh, with Slash and Stevie a little yeah. bit. But we formed that band, that kind of end result band, and I really, it was the first time I was 20 years old, and the first time I was like, okay, I'm going to be, try to be good at one instrument, yeah. and that was bass. Yeah. Yeah. My bass lines and, and um, where and when I played was a product yeah. of being in a band with two guitar players. Yeah. Um, not having a PA, so the singer, so Axel, the singer wasn't around. Oh, so you sing. just played the... We just would play the music all the time, so the music got to really grow. Yeah. And flourish, and and find every, everybody found their right places. Yeah. And then we'd hear Axel sing. He would like try to sing in our ears or whatever. But okay, so. at gigs, you'd, you'd hear. It. So we had to do it alone, without yeah. a, without a, a vocal melody. Yeah. We had to make it interesting standing on it. We didn't realize we were doing that, but I think that's just human yeah. nature. You, whatever you got, you got to make that as yeah. interesting. If you're just playing chords all the time, it's like yeah. something says to happen. Yeah. So, so now you're playing Loaded, right? Or, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. how is that? Is that you guys going on tour? Or doing we, well, or? We, we got back in, uh, we toured in November and uh, December. Yeah. And I'm actually just writing music right oh, now. Cool. And yeah. yeah uh, so yeah, I just forge on. I yeah. write music, I go out and play. Yeah. And whatever happens next in my life musically mm. is the thing that happens. Yeah. And uh, I don't know what's going to happen even two months from now. I have no idea. No. And I've, I've learned not to try to guess, and especially publicly, like, go, oh, yes. <laughs> um, so I, I don't know what's going to happen, and, and I kind of like it that way. It's, yeah. It keeps everything fresh and exciting, and I just kind of keep doing the same thing I've always done, which yeah. is write riffs, yeah. put a vocal melody to yeah. it. Yeah, you just did a little, little I did, riff. yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do it all the time, <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's it. Excellent. Thanks so much. Cool.